Okay, so this is a this is a kind of a take two here. First time I filmed this, my stupid camcorder decided that it, uh, it didn't want to store the data. So, as we can see here, we got <coughs> our second motor installed. The two of them are, are in now. The bottom one is just face mounted onto the plate here. We've got got some M8 bolts drilled and tapped going in there. Got a sprocket on there. Keyway taper lock setup. Um, because of the way the spacing between the shafts ended up, I couldn't get the chain to be a happy fit. Uh, it was either too short or too long. So fitted this idler sprocket here in the center uh, to take the slack out of the chain. I had to just uh, turn a little bit of <coughs> excuse me 25 mil uh, steel there just to um, just to make a a fitting for that and that's uh, drilled all the way through and the plate is tapped M8 to take a true bolt uh, that basically pinches that guy down on there and as you can see that's just a sprocket it's got a, a metal shielded bearing in the center of it so it just uh, spins around um, okay so I'm going to hook up um, the power here so that we're going to run in series uh, with our trusty 12 volt battery here so we're currently um, got this join here between the two motors and uh, that should give us series mode hook up one terminal here the battery and uh, just go ahead and uh, give her some juice so this is series mode 12 volts series mode now time for parallel to, to hook the motors up in parallel just to give that a try and uh, I'm seriously seriously scary so here we go That's pretty intense, uh, and that's only 12 volts. Um, so I will probably have to be uh, adjusting my chain again. But as I said, it's just a preliminary setup. That's way scary. <laughs> 